Tune into this episode of the AI Show where we look at content moderator overall as well as how to work with video. Take a look. Hi there, welcome to this episode of the AI Show where we're going to talk about content moderation with Sanjeev. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Seth. How are you? Good. What do you do, my friend? So I'm a product manager in the content moderator team and that's part of Cognitive Services. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is we take uh, customers' content and we protect them against risks of bad content across text, images, and videos. And we also provide not just APIs, but a human review capability as well. Fantastic. So why don't you give us like a really good overview of what you can do? Because I know you have some slides here that give us like a, a good overview. Sure. Yep. Let's start. So uh, we like to call it a platform because, uh, and this slide kind of shows you what the platform is all about. Mm -hmm. So what we have at the lowest tier is the moderation APIs, right? And so these are the actual APIs that you will use to send your content, to submit your content that's for scanning. Mm -hmm. The first API, which we won't talk about here, is the photo DNA cloud service, mm -hmm. uh, which, uh, which is about uh, protecting from child abuse material. Okay. Uh, but in this, uh, but moving on to the actual moderation APIs, uh, we do image moderation today, right? Text and video. And you will notice a consistent theme across image and, and text and video is the adult and racy detection part. And for text, of course, we're talking about the offensive uh, text detection as well. Right? And then PII, personally identifiable information, which is a big deal today. Sure. With the GDPR compliance yeah. and the privacy and all those sensitive data protection coming in. Uh, for image, we also detect text within those images using oh, wow. enhanced OCR functionality. And also from a moderation point of view, a lot of businesses want to know if there are faces in the image. Again, from a PII perspective, right? Sure. And so that's why the, uh, the image moderation features the face detection too. So these are what we call the content moderation APIs. Okay. And then on top of these, what we have is the review APIs, which are really a bridge between the moderation APIs and the human in the loop functionality. Okay. Right? And so customers can either directly call the moderation APIs or they can use the reviews APIs to ingest content into our platform. And then what happens internally is that the reviews APIs will use your workflows and think of workflows as really encoding your content policies and thresholds into an automated if then else expression format. I right? see. And so your jobs, these are now asynchronous end to end jobs, they will use those workflows to evaluate those criteria for creating reviews or not, but it will scan your content, evaluate the workflows, and then create human reviews or submit it back to your system. In a nutshell, that's what the combination of APIs and, and review tools get to do. And the other nice thing is that the review tool also has built-in connectors for text analytics, face APIs, and so on. And we're always building new connectors. So you can bring in your bring your own API and use that with the human review tool and the workflow feature. And uh, what we like to say is that only when you combine, at least in content moderation space, when you combine the machine learning with the human review tool, that's when you get the best results from a content moderation perspective. So let me see if I understand, because before, when I when I think of cognitive services, I think of an API that you call, and I thought you just send it this, and it says, bad stuff, don't do it. But th there's actually a lot more than that, because it does that at the underlying level, but then it also has a review API to correct. actually have humans review. Because I worry, you know, especially with very, like GDPR stuff, if something gets by, you could be fined a lot. Right. So you have this human review API that you can do stuff to bring in your own workflows as that well. That is correct. So you can take a business decision to either trust the API completely, and say yes, if it flags something, I'm blocking it, or mm -hmm. if, if it passes it, then I'm allowing it. But what about those nuanced cases, right? What about those borderline cases that you may want to have a human team look at, especially sure. if you're talking about hundreds of millions of content units coming in, sure. and that's what the human review tool does. So if you have content coming into your properties, yeah. you can totally use this, not because the fear I had is if, what if the machine makes a mistake? It's okay, you have a review API to actually make the machine get smarter, I think. Exactly, Fantastic. that's exactly it, and in fact, what's coming uh, in future is taking all those human labeling that is going on moderation, taking those decisions and plugging it back to actually uh, to, to train mm -hmm. your own classifier, which is a better fit for your data than the default ones. And so exactly, we kind of, our ultimate goal is to close the loop uh, from initial scanning to human review to the, to the next level of iteration of scanning. So I love this high level overview. Can we dive into one particular content yes. moderation to see how it works? Sure. Right. So I'll, I'll kind of drill down into the video functionality. Okay. Our video moderation feature is the newest feature here, but oh, it's wow. also uh, really interesting in, because video inherently is more very complex. It's very complicated. To process, yeah. handle, review, right? So let's get into it. Cool. And so let me come out of this expression here and go to our website mm -hmm. where under documentation, under concepts, right, our customers can find 
uh, these page, which kind of gives a really good overview of what we have under video moderation. Sure. So the first thing what we have is a video trained classifier, right? No surprises. Mm -hmm. Just like the other image and text APIs, we have an API which takes in your videos, uh, and it will it will not only detect shots. So one of the features is yes, we do adult and racy detection, but before we do that. We actually s split up the video into shots, which is really a shot is defined as a camera angle from mm -hmm. our point of view, right? Although if you move the camera quickly, you can generate multiple shots. The algorithm will probably result in multiple shots, but that's the overall approach the, the algorithm takes. Well, that's handy. Right, so, <laughs> so we detect shots, then we split up shots into clips, short clips, let's say five to six second clips, and then within the clips, we have the keyframes. A keyframe from the algorithm's point of view is really just a good complete frame, right? I see. Yeah, so that's our definition of a keyframe. And what we are doing is we are doing uh, we are extracting these keyframes and then flagging those as adult and racy, right? So as you see here. Oh, I see. So you're segmenting the video out into a series of of, of shots and keyframes, and then within each keyframe, you can identify like right. there's badness in here, right. there's badness in here, and then with the review API later on, you could say, well, there's not enough badness to exactly. reject. Or, okay, I see. That's exactly it. Cool. So our our customers have the option to either moderate at the video level, mm -hmm. right? So they can say, well, if my video contains any keyframe that has a delta or racy, I'm blocking it, or let me drill down into the keyframe themselves. So you have flexibility now of what you can do at the short level or the keyframe level and so on. But we just talked about the human review feature, right. right? And so sure enough, what you can do is not just even moderate videos with the API, but you can take that output, the JSON output that we saw here, right? And call a review APIs to actually render a video review for our, for within our human review tool, right? So what you, the video review tool has a player view, right, which is shown here. With the little marks on where Exactly, okay. yeah, so if I zoom in here, you will notice these yellow markers, that's where the API flagged the keyframe to be potentially adult or racy, right? Now the machines are not always right, 100% of the time, sure. we know that, this is machine learning, right? And so that's where somebody can click on this keyframe and then say, okay, maybe it's not racy and so on. Mm -hmm. Now you'll notice here that the moderators can actually flag the entire video, right? Or disable as adult racy. These tags mm -hmm. indicate adult racy, offensive and so on. So you can either moderate the entire video at the video level, not even worry about keyframes. Yeah. Especially if you're a social media startup, right? Mm -hmm. you're, you're telling your users to upload 20 second videos of making recipes, right? Mm -hmm. Or something. You don't want to bother with the whole human or the, or the no, effort cost no. of going into drills. But what if you're a broadcasting company or an enterprise media company? there's some fines now, that are involved. Now you, yeah, have to, yeah. now you have to drill down into the keyframes, right? And maybe edit out, redact faces and stuff like that. So that scenario is covered by our keyframes view. Right, so the video review tool gives you both uh, the video player view as well as the as the as the as the keyframe view, and that's along with some other features such as transcript moderation too. So you can you can call the uh, the Azure Media Services uh, Media Indexer APIs, mm -hmm. and now of course you have the video indexer, but you can get the transcript in. You can call a review API to moderate even transcripts as well. And I can sh I can show you the demo of the review sure. later on. We can drill into that. So right. this this content moderator is something that's part of the cognitive service for you. That is correct. Okay. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Although our uh, our video moderation processor is deployed on Azure Media Services. Got it. As an Azure Media Services media processor. Got it. Uh, but uh, yeah, and that's going to be part of cognitive services too as well. So, in terms of the actual code, um, a good next step is to look at the uh, the actual. Uh, so remember, we talked about this in API level, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you kind of submit your video to this API and, and, and the API will scan the videos and generate that JSON here, right? So, so this page talks about that sample code, which in my Visual Studio is right here. It's cool. the same sample that you saw, that you see online right now. So if I run this, right, so you can see it's creating a media context, it's creating a storage context to, to kind of store the video blobs right. and so on. Uh, then it takes a local file, and my file in this case is the Windows 10.mp4, mm -hmm. it's a 30 second Windows 10 promotional video, and then it kind of runs the content moderator job. This is where it's kind of different from the Cognitive Services APIs. Here you're running jobs on the media. Well, because it's a lot bigger of a file, and it needs yes. to do more work. And yeah. secondly, it's video, it's asynchronous, right? And so, and so that's what is going on here. So just to demonstrate what happens if I run this, and this kind of illustrates the difference between your synchronous real-time calling the cognitive APIs versus a bit of an asynchronous queued operation sure. here that's going on. So you'll notice the, the, the log coming in as queued and so on, right? But in the interest of time, we'll kind of close this window. And instead, I'll show you the actual JSON, uh, which is uh, right here. 
right? So this is the JSON that was generated from the same Windows 10 file, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that is coming from that moderator uh, job that we just did, mm -hmm. right? And the interesting thing is here you will notice there's nothing racy in the video, but this keyframe was flagged as racy, right? A uh, very high racy score, and therefore the review recommended Boolean was also set oh, to no. high, right? Wow! And but that's an example of exactly why you need a human review tool, right? Here, right? <laughs> and so now if we go back, now let me go back to our human review tool. So what I did was, now we need to create a human review, sure. remember? And so if you go to our documentation page, you will notice there are our quick starts here, mm -hmm. along with sample code that you can that customers can use to get started on creating reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's a whole tutorial uh, right here which provides an end-to-end -end open source GitHub sample project, really, that allows you to do entire solution. Whatever we are talking about here, they can do it themselves. So there's like, a moderation API yeah. that you can build this UI on top of. Uh, there's a review API. Yeah, yeah, review yeah API. there's a moderation API that you can build your review experience on top oh, of. I see, okay. And with the review API, you actually ingest your content into a review tool, okay. so that it appears as those videos and keyframes okay. and so on. Right, so let me go back now to, so we have looked at the moderation side, mm -hmm. now we are going into the review side of things, right? Okay. And so this is our review tool, right? And so if I click select video. And the cool thing is that you can totally burn this into your own application because there's an API that, that this oh, yes. built on top of. Exactly, yeah, so, right, so, so we come to the review and the video review page of our tool, right? So this mm -hmm. is the video. Uh, that's a sample video that we moderated, and then we uploaded it into the review tool using the review API. Mm -hmm. So you will notice all those screens that we saw. So somebody who is not bothered about the keyframes, mm -hmm. they can expand this view and really just work with the video, player view, right? And you can play the video. And there are some other wellness features too. So you can blur the video, right, if you're playing here. Uh, you can make it black and white. And the reason why these features exist is from a wellness perspective because Moderators are usually sometimes can be looking at pretty bad content, yeah. and so to reduce the impact, uh, you have provide these wellness features. But let's say, and then you can flip to the next bad frame and so on. This video did not have anything flagged, right? And so that's why you don't see any yellow markers that mm -hmm. we kind of talked about before. And these are the keyframes, right? So if I expand this and make it larger, now I can click on the keyframe and the video starts playing from there, right? Or I can say, show me only the tagged free keyframes, right? Now in this case, there are no tagged free uh, keyframes here. But let me do this, and then what the, I guess, uh, the next button is for moderators to say, okay, I'm good with this video, let's move on to the next video in my queue. Sure. That's what is going on here, right? And so in this case, let's move on to the next video. Now remember, this is that Windows 10 promotional yeah. video that we moderated, this is exactly that. So, so if I play this video, So in this case, you will notice there was one frame that was tagged as racy, remember? I showed yes. you the true, racy equal to true thing. And so if I bring my mouse cursor here, you'll notice that one yellow marker uh, right here, and let me expand this actually. Yeah, so you'll notice that one yellow marker right here, so I can go to this and go to that video instant. Right the there. shark is pretty racy though, <laughs> scaring me here. It is fast, <laughs> so maybe that's had something yeah. to do with it. And so, and so we go back, we go into the insights, and I say, hmm, this, I don't think this is racy, right? And so you will notice, actually the yellow bar went away, in fact, from the media player, right? And of course I can tag the whole video as racy, uh, or non-racy in this case, and then hit submit, and uh, hit submit, and the next video, which is, is a, Satya interview, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, so this is the video where, I don't want to say tagged only, right? So this is interesting only because I can, we can see the transcript view come into play here, right? Because obviously this is an interview, so there's a ton of transcript here to review. You'll notice that, right? And so here, you'll notice the Microsoft Word has been highlighted. This kind of, uh, unintentionally, this is showing uh, one of our text moderation features sure. where you can add your own custom terms. Let's say I was at Microsoft reviewing partner documents or legal documents, and I want to know, you know, yeah. where does Microsoft appear here? And so that's why, in, as it happens, in this account, I had the Microsoft Word added to my own custom list of terms. I see. And so that's why that word got highlighted. So I guess in, in summary, we have the video player view, we have the frames, the transcript moderation comes into play, and yes, the moderators, if they're working as a team, they can add certain notes and comments and you know collaborate on that. Well, the information that, for example, if I mark something up as racy or, or explicit or whatever, 
will that information go back into the machine learning algorithm to make it smarter, or is it something that you can store and then make your own models? In this case, not yet, mm -hmm. but that's coming up. That's exactly what we're working on, starting that's awesome. with the image moderation thanks to the custom vision service. And so what we are doing, planning to do is build integration, integrate with that custom vision service. Fantastic. Yeah. And so yeah. what we've seen then uh, in a pretty short amount of time is the ability to, well, we saw the overall moder content moderation, which is even more amazing than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. It's not just send a video and get a true or false back. Right. It's in fact, there's a moderation API and then there's a review API as yes. well, where you can go in and do moderation and review with video. This, this has been pretty amazing. Where can people go to learn more? Yep, so go to Azure Content Moderator. Just search for Azure or search for Content Moderator. You'll most likely land up on our website and you can go from there. Fantastic. I'll put some links below. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for spending some time with Thanks, us. Thanks, Seth. We'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, sure.